effective nuclear charge and shielding effect effective nuclear charge is defined as the net positive charge that is experienced by an electron in a polyelectronic atom polyelectronic atom is nothing but the atom containing more than more than one electron or may also be defined as atom other than hydrogen atom other than hydrogen to understand it more precisely let us consider an atom with positive charge nucleus at the center and a valence electron now let me consider this positive charge nucleus as a point charge q1 and an and this electron as another point charge q2 from coulomb's law we know that f equals k into q1 into q2 by r square it denotes that the force of attraction experienced between two point charges q1 q2 which is separated by distance r let the nucleus and the electron be separated by distance r now we know that charge of the electron is equals to charge of the proton which is represented by e e the value of e is 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 19 coulomb this is the charge of the electron as well as the proton now the charge of the electron is denoted by e charge of the proton is also e now total number of proton present in the nucleus is represented by z where z denotes the atomic number atomic number it represents it uh, represents the total number of electron or total number of protons present in in an atom now substituting these values in this equation we get force equals f equals k into z into e by r square now this is the force or this is the actual force that is experienced by this electron due to the positive charge nucleus let me consider this force as fth that is which denotes the theoretical force of attraction but the force of attraction but actual or the experimental force of attraction is always less than the theoretical value because in the theoretical mode of explanation we are consider only the positive charge nucleus as well as the electron but experimentally but experimentally we have found out the underlying electron or the underlying orbital orbital electrons these electrons the underlying orbital electrons play a major role in shielding the attractive force between the nucleus as well as electron so therefore this shielding or blocking of the nuclear force of attraction between the positive charge nucleus and this electron leads to a decrease decrease in nuclear charge so therefore a new term is introduced that is effective nuclear charge therefore always z effective is less than the atomic charge or the actual charge when we equate these two terms we get a new term called sigma this denotes the decrease in the z or the atomic charge due to the due to the shielding of the inner orbitals therefore sigma denotes the screening constant or the shielding constant or we can also define as it is the measure of shielding of electron from the nucleus by the underlying orbital electrons so this is the final equation which is which relates the z effective with the screening constant as we have discussed the final equation z effect equals z minus sigma where z is the atomic number and sigma is the screening constant now let us discuss the factor that affects the z effective that is the effective nuclear charge and the sigma that is screening constant the first factor that comes into picture is the distance of the electron the distance of the electron from the nucleus that is represented by r as r increases that is the distance of the electron from the nucleus increases the number of electrons in the inner lying orbitals increases 
hence the shielding of these inner lying orbitals also increases which implies the sigma that is the screening constant also increases this finally which results in the decrease decrease in the effective nuclear charge as the distance of these electron from the nucleus increases the electrons the underlying orbital electrons increases which results in the more will be the shielding of these underlying orbital electrons this result in the decrease decrease of the effective nuclear charge it can also be explained in terms of principal quantum number where the principal quantum number is nothing but the integers which represent the principal energy level principal energy level such as k shell l shell m shell and so on if i consider the electron present in 3s and 4s the 4s the 4s will experience more shielding hence the z effective the z effective of 4s is less than the z effective value of 3s because the 4s is more far away from the nucleus hence the finally we can state it as as the principal quantum number increases the distance of the electron from the nucleus also increases which result in the more more shielding of the electrons hence sigma increases which implies sigma increases thus result in the decrease of effective nuclear charge as the principal quantum number increases the distance of the electron from the nucleus increases thus result in the more number of inner lying orbital electrons thus result in the more shielding hence the sigma that is the screening constant increases thus finally result in the decrease of effective nuclear charge now the second factor depends on orbital at which the electron is present the electron may be present at s p d and f orbitals now let us consider s p and d orbitals we know that the shape of the orbitals of s p and d are spherical dumbbell and double dumbbell shape respectively what does the shape of the orbitals actually suggest it suggests the probability of finding the electron is more in this region that is for s electrons the probability of finding the s electron is more in the spherical region that's it now as we move from s to p to d orbital shapes the diffusionness the diffusion of electron cloud increases the diffusion of electron cloud increases that is the s orbital electrons are more concentrated in the spherical region than compared to p than compared to d d orbital electrons are more diffused hence the s orbital electrons are more capable of shielding shielding the electron than compared to p than compared to d hence the sigma value the sigma value for s orbital s orbital electrons are greater than p and greater than d hence the z effective that is the effective nuclear charge value for s is least then p and greatest for d because the d orbital electrons are more diffused hence they are least in screening the electrons